on Roland Empire, Roland Mahler here. Here I'll to give you my review for the Star Trek Beyond trailer. I've already seen the trailer, so I couldn't, you know, get re reacted to it. So I'll just give you a little review of what I thought of it. And this trailer really was underwhelming. Like, I don't know, this, this was just like out of nowhere. I was like, my goodness, are we seeing like an action movie or something? Like... Like an Expendables type of movie or something or like a Fast and the Furious. I was like, because it didn't feel like, you know, like just a Star Trek movie. Like, don't get me wrong. I loved it, like the visuals. I love, you know, the costumes, everything. I feel like, you know, what works is like seeing the characters back, seeing like how they have new suits. I like seeing how the whole like atmosphere, how the planet is established. But I don't know, just really how the way the trailer was cut. Maybe my flaws are with the trailer, how it was cut. You know, I love the Beastie Boys sabotage, but did it really need to be in this trailer? I don't think so. You know, it was it worked in the first J.J. Abrams movie, but I don't think it worked here. And I just feel like it was c cut everywhere. It was quick paced. It was like a mini action movie. You know, I didn't feel like the Star Trek movies. What the, people complain about the J.J. Abrams Star Trek movies is they don't feel like Star Trek movies. Well, those at least kind of somehow pay homage to this. Just looks like it's going to even farther than that seriously like i don't know and this is justin lynn and it did feel like a fast and a furious movie set in space so i don't know what was going on with the trailer but seeing everybody back uh was great i did like seeing how you know just you know it's a new season and everything i like having that i was like that was good and then did i see idris elbow i don't know who that was the narration made it seem like that person that was in the trailer was Idris. I thought Idris was going to show face. I didn't know he was going to be that type of villain. We'll see how that is, but that really just caught me off guard. Um, it was really strange seeing like the motorcycles. It was amazing though, visually kind of seeing Simon Pegg being hell out of the cliff. But really, like that's not something really we see in Star Trek. Like that's not the type of action we get. And it, I, I did think that my the best part, the funniest part for me was when you know like uh, Bones is like, at least I'm not here alone. I'm not going to die alone. And then Spock just disappears. I thought that was funny. But I don't even think that was necessary for this trailer. But yes, honestly, my overall thoughts was it was a very underwhelming trailer. I will probably check it out. I did like the J.J. Abrams movies because I felt like, you know, he actually gave it like admiration to the originals. Like he was trying to make his own thing. Come on. He was revitalizing it and he did a great job. This, I don't know. We have to see. But this looks like it's going farther than that. But, I don't know, this is just my opinion, you know. You can take this with a grain of salt, you could agree with me, it's fine. Everybody has their opinion, that's the best thing. But now, it's your turn. Let me know your opinion. There's a voice I like to hear in the comments. Let me know what you think, Roland Empire, okay? You know, these were my thoughts for Star Trek Beyond. Now let me know what you think. Uh, you know, laugh, smile, repeat, guys. Peace.